Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire! <laughs> and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video today. But first, make sure you subscribe and mash that notification button so you never miss a Swing Dance Reaction video ever again. This looks like we are going back to Spain for Move Your Bottom 2020, and this is going to be a strictly finals. This means you're going to have the Jack and Jill format where there's some leading and following, but there's going to be an element of choreography on top of that. It is one of my favorite types of competitions. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about who I feel are the winners of this competition. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. You know what? I am so ready to see this. Let's see. Who is in the final? Uh oh, we only got three couples. To a live band too, okay. Get my, my judge face on. That's it? I like that, that's straight to the point. Oh, okay, so no, they're doing, okay, they're doing another one, okay. <laughs> I think the dancers were confused too. <laughs> I was like, did my video break? Is the internet down?
All right, guys. That was some uh, some some really uh, good sets that I saw from these dancers. So let's talk about it. All right, first off, I gotta say uh, I appreciate people that do this strictly. It tells me that. You are not scared to get out there and show some of your best choreography and do some social dancing in front of an audience. That is a really tough thing to do. It's it's my favorite competition for a reason, and that reason is because everything is brief. <laughs> it's not a long showcase, you know, or a long classic. It, it's, it's a brief moment where we can get a snapshot of some of your better ideas that you're working on. And so uh, that was pretty enjoyable, I will tell you. That second uh, round was kind of threw me off a little bit. I, I think the band got a little lost on what 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 happened. Uh, maybe they forgot that there were two of them, two sets um, that the dancers were supposed to do. But um, I think the dancers recovered from that psychologically. I don't think I did, but I think they did okay. <laughs> and uh, they went through it. They went through it again. Now I will tell you this: upon my first observation of this footage. The first set was probably the strongest set for both couples, or, or for all three couples. I really do believe that, uh, based on what I saw. And my third place will have to go to the couple, I think, that went out first. They, they I think he had a green and white uh, outfit. No, she had a white shirt, skirt, uh, that was kind of like a plaidish green. And he had a green shirt. Here's why I put them in third place. Now... They knew how to dance. They had the control part of the technique. But the problem that I saw wasn't their choreography. That's never a problem. That's their preference. That's none of my business, right? The reality is, is they can choreograph whatever they want. And I've got to be able to stay within the framework on how I judge a competition. And control was part of that, is the, the minimum technique on how to move and follow with your partner. The problem that I saw with this set disappointed me. I felt like they were behind the beat a little bit. They had some really interesting syncopations. There's some hop skipping that they were doing and um, the, the follower had so much joy. The leader had just this intensity, the energy. And sometimes it, you just miss it. Sometimes the dancers just get off beat and it's really hard to cover uh, or recover from that. It's hard to cover it too because we can all see the choreography is good but sometimes the, the, it just gets disjointed in terms of dancing on top of the beat or behind the beat a little bit and I felt that I couldn't, I felt like I was something was building but it could never get there because they were behind the beat on some of their most uh, potent pieces of choreography. Now I will tell you the parts that they did hit, I liked it. I really did like it, and I and I prefer um, some of their styling uh, over some of the other couples. I, I, I really like the follower on this one. She really had a lot of uh, just this crazy energy, just wild, a lot of joy. Um, I like how the leader was able to stop at certain points. You can see that in the footage. But overall, I have them in third because I think there was a lack of cohesiveness with the timing. They got off beat, and sometimes off beat. Can, can ruin everything. Great idea done off beat, just, you know, the timing's off. My second place uh, will go to the couple, the, the black couple. They're not actually like black. Americans, they say black, but it doesn't mean black, and I don't mean skin. <laughs> they both had black on. Uh, yeah, they had black on, and what I liked about them is they did what the sec, the third place couple didn't do, which they had clarity on beat. They were doing just... I don't think any of their part was choreographed. They were just going out there and social dancing. Think about that. You can get out there and social dance with quality. Dancing on beat. Showing me like a little foot tap. You know, I think they did a little foot tap. He did one in the first set. She did one in the second set. And I can go, okay, they've got the quality of the movement on the control. But they also have the timing of the music. So if you've got two out of the three... You're in second place for me. Now that's kind of frustrating if you're in third place to think, man, we had all this choreography, we had all these ideas, and and we got third place in, in, in Jamin's mind. Well, that's because 
it's not just about the choreography. It's not just about the movements that you're doing. It's about how those movements fit in time with the music to elevate the music so the audience can hear and appreciate what they're seeing. It's this wonderful mix that takes place. And that, when you have that right, it produces an emotion. It's an incredible emotion. Now my first place uh, goes to the couple. He had a brown jacket, she had black on. Now the reason I like them is because they did what the third place couple could not do in this particular case. They were on beat. Their choreography was tight. They had a lot of great timing. You can tell they mapped this out. I'm sure they were talking like, you better not mess this up right before the competition. They were just working on that timing. They had a lot of syncopations in there that I prefer, which has nothing to do with judging. It's just my opinion. I liked their dancing the best uh, because of the arrangement of their choreography. Nothing looked like it was too much. It looked like I could see an idea here. It should transition into something else that was more clear. I get a little bit of complexity. I get a little bit of simplicity and personality. And all of that together made a memorable moment for me. So when I watched them, I thought, okay, good. That, that's, that's the one that I would put in first place. If I was to take a video uh, clip and show someone Lindy Hop for the first time, I would show them. I'd go, yeah, that's, that's the couple that I would show. Now, um, a lot of people go, hey, Jamin, well, how do you judge that easily? Usually, it's easy for me to see it. It's just those three things. I got to see the control. I got to see the time. And I got to see the creativity. Now, if every couple has that, then we got to get down to the nitty gritty. We got to get down to those things that really help the audience feel an emotion. And sometimes that goes back to the placement of the movements. It's not necessarily just the movements, but sometimes it goes back to the nuanced placement of the move, movements uh, so that the, the audience can feel something more. And then sometimes simple movements will, will outweigh those movements that are really complex when it comes down to the nitty gritty. But I don't think this competition was that close in, in that, you know, I never had to go that deep with this analysis. But I will tell you, my first place is my first place, and I really loved their dancing. I think I may have seen some of these dancers and some other footage, so please let me know their names. They're really, really good. I really like their ideas, and I hope they keep pushing. Um, this is a really good format. I can tell I would like them better in this format than like watching a full showcase. Um, I don't know. I, I just I probably would get bored, but I think it's because of the tempo and the energy level with the crowd that I can appreciate their choreography the most in this sense, uh, in terms of a strictly finals competition. So what did you guys think about this one? I enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the audience looked like they were into it, but they did seem a little fatigued. It's just kind of like, okay, it was time for a break. <laughs> But uh, it's great. It's great. If you guys haven't done a competition before, you should do it. You should push yourself to do it. I remember my first couple of competitions were a little bit intimidating because before I got into the competition, I like literally drop kicked one of my partners in a jam circle. So the insecurity of messing up again in front of an audience was just all in the back of my mind. I could never get it out of my mind that I'm going to drop kick my partner. And guess what? I did a competition. And I drop kicked my partner on a move again. But I still won first place. And I learned a huge lesson. It doesn't matter if you mess up. It's all about if you're growing in that process. You gotta take little small incremental steps towards the direction you wanna go. And if you wanna be a more confident dancer, it takes competition sometimes. It takes that willingness to get out there and make yourself uncomfortable in order to learn from those experiences. So I would encourage you to compete if you've never done it before. Um, if, you've, if you're wanting to know how to social dance better, I encourage you to check out my Fundamentals membership. I spent over 10,000 hours trying to figure out how to make Lindy Hop simple so a brand new person can understand it and never have to need a teacher once they understand the mechanics of it. You guys know me. I talk a lot about Lindy Hop just being simple. It's 25% of it is objective. And those objective qualities are found in everybody's style. So what is those? What are those things? How does that work? Well, we break those things down so that you can have the confidence as a leader and as a follower. If you know these concepts, then you've mastered the technique. But you're a master in seed form. You have to go out and apply those concepts to go through the growth process 
so that the knowledge that's in your head will become something that's in your body. So if you want to check that out, it's called Fundamentals Membership. It will bless you and change your life. If you guys need inspiration, you're like, dude, I want to do this competition, but I feel like I'm just doing the same old moves over and over. You should check out uh, some of my free courses below. I got like 20 to 30 free courses. You can get an idea of what it's like being a part of our street smart swing community. I've got a a, a, a studio next door. That's what you call it, where you go and dance and practice. And we're coming up with new ideas every single week that we post on Mondays and Tuesday. And you get a taste of that. A lot of our students, you know, who compete or who are out there just wanting to get better at their social dancing, they get to post their footage and send it to me. And I get to look at that footage and give them some personal critique and encouragement. And they get to be a part of a community that has the same approach to the dance, but can encourage each other. And we, we really love doing that. So if you want to check that out, check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this strictly. Let me know if your opinion's different. I love differing opinions. Um, just don't get it twisted. Your opinion may or may not align with the truth, but your opinion is not higher than what is true. So uh, hopefully you guys can see my opinion uh, in this analysis and uh, we always keep the truth above all of it. So with that said, I will see you guys either in one of my classes online or hopefully I'll see some of your comments below. Take care.